surgical site infections are a major concern throughout the healthcare community worldwide. Each year, more than three quarters of a million SSIs occur in the United States alone. Patients with SSIs require longer hospitalization, leading to increased cost and risk to the patient. And the expenditure and resources by hospitals can be substantial. One SSI risk factor that can be addressed is bacterial colonization of the suture. Foreign materials, like sutures, lower the number of bacteria required to cause an infection. When implanted, sutures are rapidly coated with protein, creating sites for bacterial colonization. This colonization can lead to biofilm formation. In fact, the biofilm can protect the bacteria within it from attack by internal infection-fighting cells of the body or from external antibiotic therapy. The landmark 1957 study by Ellick and Conan showed that without the presence of a foreign body, between 2 to 8 million bacteria per gram of tissue were required to cause an infection. In contrast, this same study showed that with the presence of a foreign body, like a suture, only hundreds of bacteria per gram of tissue were required to cause an infection. And that's why Ethicon developed PLUS antibacterial sutures with triclosan, because they're proven to inhibit bacterial colonization of the suture. Triclosan is a broad-spectrum antimicrobial agent, and compared to the triclosan used in many consumer products, PLUS sutures utilize the purest form of triclosan, ErgaCare MP. Numerous studies have confirmed the utility of sutures treated with triclosan in decreasing bacterial colonization. In this test, a dish was inoculated with bacteria and two sutures were placed, a non-plus suture and a plus antibacterial suture. The bacteria is Staphylococcus aureus and the dish was incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 48 hours. The result? The non-plus suture has bacterial colonies throughout, while the plus suture's antimicrobial properties have created a zone of inhibition. Plus sutures have been shown in vitro to inhibit colonization of the suture for seven days or more. The inhibitory effect achieved is dependent on the susceptibility of a given strain of bacteria and the concentration of triclosan. At low concentrations, triclosan affects the biosynthesis of fatty acids required for cell membrane formation. While at high concentrations, triclosan impacts the cell membrane, allowing leakage of cellular contents. By compromising the membrane, triclosan causes damage to the cell structure of the bacteria and eventual death. While triclosan affects the cell wall integrity of the bacteria, its impact on human cells is minimal. In fact, the small amount of triclosan used in PLUS sutures does not accumulate in the body and is metabolized and excreted in a neutralized form. Ten meta-analyses, encompassing more than 20 randomized controlled trials involving over 7,000 patients, confirm the use of sutures containing triclosan in lowering the rate of surgical site infections.